Hi guys and welcome back to the second tutorial in the series a phone book in C Sharp. So basically in this tutorial we're gonna see how to create our database in SQL Server. So first of all you're gonna open up your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and this is the first window that you're gonna get. So we want to connect to our server and then we want to expand the databases we want to right click on the databases to create our new database right so we're gonna create the new database I'm gonna I'm gonna call it phone book so in the database name I'm gonna type phone book alright let's go then press OK so here is our database we're gonna wanna expand this and go to tables and we're gonna create a new table so right click on tables and then click on table just as simple as this okay so first of all um, we're gonna have a couple of columns the first one is gonna be the ID of um, the record okay so we're gonna type ID and in the data type we're gonna type n okay and then we're we're selecting this um, this field we're gonna right click on it and click on set primary key then we're going to the column properties in the identity specification we're going to expand that and we're going to double click on no um, in the field of is identity what this is going to do is basically it's going to um, auto increment this id so that it's unique for each entry in our table okay so the next column that we want to create is basically the first name so we type in first name and it's evartar 50 okay and then we're um, typing the last name it's also vartar 50 and then we have the mobile so mobile uh, it's um, let's make it vartar 50 okay because they're um, there are different formats uh, of the mobile number according to uh, I guess each country and so on and so forth so uh, the next thing is the notes it's let's make it var tor 100 okay and last but not least the photo which is gonna be image okay so now after saving this um, th this table it's gonna ask us for the uh, tables name right so we want to call it contacts and that's it guess what we're now done with our database so when you expand the tables you're gonna find your your table here which is contacts when we right click on it and click on edit top 200 rows here we go so this is the contents of our uh, um, table it's it's obviously empty because we have not used it yet okay so that's it for this uh, tutorial guys and see you in the next tutorial